10, 15 seconds ago, Karen and I were talking. Where did it go? Can anybody recreate it? Yes, right now we're recording it here on our system so we can watch it again. But if you're not recording it on, on a device, which you can do it with your life because you can't record every moment of your life. It's impossible. Um, where do they go? What happens to them? So the moments of life, after you go through it, then you are, they're only in your memory. You only remember them when you refer to them and your memory as you get older we all know gets worse and it's not working as good as it used to so you don't even remember a lot of the stuff so they disappear into the vastness of universe for good When they make movies, the movie, the real, they're making the real, it's a combination, a collection of snapshots of every snapshot attached to the other one. Back in the day, 60, 70 years ago, when they played the movies and they didn't have an electrical engine to run it, so there was no motor, so... You've seen it in the movie uh, Cinema Paradiso. There's a, it's an Italian movie and there's little, this little Italian kid, seven-year-old one, is turning the handle of this reel is turning, so he has to keep his hands steady. So you got the movie watching. That's why they call it movies because it's moving. What's moving? A series of snapshots of pictures moving after each other and they create the illusion that someone is alive and somebody's the actor and the actress they're talking to each other, they're dancing with each other, they're kissing each other or whatever is happening. Same identical thing is happening in life. The moments of life are not attached to each other. If they were attached to each other, you could go back into them or go forward. But you can't go back and you can't go forward. Because they're not attached. There's a gap in between the two moments. Every moment is independent. It only happens once. And then it's gone. Then the next moment happens and it's gone. Then the next moment happens and it's gone forever. Because it's a vertical moment. So they're next to each other very closely. But since they happen so fast, so quickly, it is an optical illusion to get the feel that these moments are connected to each other and it creates the illusion of continu continuity, that it is in a continuum, but it's not. Every moment is fresh. Every moment in life has only happened one time, only one time, and it's gone forever. There is no record of it. You can't go back to it. It's finished. It only happens. That means that your life is fresh. That means every moment of your life is absolutely brand new. Even though you've been sleeping in your bed, your house, your apartment for 10, 15, 20 years, 30 years. You are with the same partner for 20 years. You have the same dog for 15 years. You go to the same bakery every morning to get your coffee and your croissant or bread or whatever. But, and it's all 
you may tell yourself, those of you who are bored, you don't like your life, you think things are boring, slow, and you tell yourself it's the same shit happening over and over again. It's so boring, it's so continuously the same thing happening, but it's not. Every single moment is brand new, absolutely brand new, as if it's never happened before. Everything is fresh, every single moment in life. Once you begin to shift your consciousness and you begin to see it and recognize it, you will know that there's not a single moment in your life that is being repeated. There may be a similar one. It looks like it, but it's not the same. It's brand new. So, then what happens? Why, why do we suffer? How many people here suffering from your past? How many of you go into this thing in your head and what they call it is, again, excuse my language, but this is the easiest way of explaining it, mind fucking. How many people mind fuck with themselves? Going in your past and blaming yourself and thinking about all these things. I should have done this. I should have done that. But I screwed up. But I was an asshole. I let go of my children. I chased away my husband. I wasn't a good mom. Blah, 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 blah. If I invested my money correctly, I would have been in a better place. If I went to medical school, I would have been in a much better place, but I missed, I, instead of going to medical school, I met this guitar player, rock star, and I jumped in a plane and I went to Bali. I left my kids and my husband and I went to Bali and India and Asia and for a few years, I rock and roll with this guy. And now I suffer. How many people have done that? How many people talk about it? How many people suffer from their past mistakes? They believe they made mistakes. They did something wrong. And they keep going back to that story. How many times you run into a friend or a lover or partner and you keep blaming him over the same thing. You keep complaining over the same thing. You did this, you did that. There's some people here, they get stuck on one thing and they can't free themselves. I'm, I, I have been around them, I am around them. And their mind is stuck on something and they can't get over it. They always have to bring it up. They always have to bring that into the relationship, in your connection. Or they bring their shit from old connections, old relationships to new friendships and new love affairs. How many times you've done that? Do you know what they call it? They call it bringing your baggage with you into your new marriage, into your new relationship. 